Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary Edition is not what I expected. What's up guys, we're back with another update on the Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary Edition. We did a video about this recently. Uh, a lot of you guys were in agreement with me, but a lot of you guys didn't agree with what I thought about the Starlight Rares or the 25th Anniversary Edition. But this video is a little bit different. This is really not what I was expecting. So we have a few things to go through. They just released the Konami sponsored openings, which is all the creators who are sponsored by Konami. They get to open it up about a week and a half early before the release date. And we saw a few things that was unexpected. I really thought we already knew everything about this uh, set, except for if it would have the 25th anniversary logo on the cards or not. That's kind of what I was looking for. But there was even more that I wasn't expecting that was different. So first off, let's take a look at the first opening. So here we have a DZF opening. DZF has a card right here, which is from Metal Raider. So there's a few things that we can gather from this card. First of all, looks a little different, huh? Doesn't really look like an old school Metal Raiders card. I mean, we know there's been tons and tons of print. There was in Metal Raiders First Dead. There's been Metal Raiders Unlimited 2002. There's been Metal Raiders Unlimited 2003 from the 10th. There's been Metal Raiders Unlimited 2004 with the EN, which by the way, you guys can see this also has an EN. EN from Forbidden Legacy, also from Master Collection 1. Then there's Metal Raiders Legendary Collection 1 from 2010. That's in the uh, Binder Edition. Then there's Metal Raiders from the Game Board Edition in 2013. Metal Raiders from the Game Board Edition rerun in 2018. And now we have this new version. They've never looked like this. This is the new style Yu-Gi-Oh card. But usually when they've been doing these reprints, they've been reprinting them in the old style. So this is going to make these very, very easy to differentiate from any other reprints, which, I mean, you may or may not like that, but that is definitely nice actually a lot of times people are like is this a reprint is this original all you got to do is look at this it looks like a normal Yu-Gi-Oh card nowadays then you know it's a reprint from 25th anniversary there's another way to know the en so it doesn't have the 25th logo which we were thinking about will there be a 25th anniversary logo like there is on the packs there's not it's guaranteed we've seen the cards now but this en is essentially the 25th logo you might say hey ruxin you just said there was an en in 2004 2005 i did but remember what else i said this is not the old style card so you're gonna have two different en prints one's gonna be the old style card it's gonna look like an older card then there's gonna be the new style card which is these so when you see an en you have two options you have the 2004 2005 or this and it's gonna be very very obvious which one's which just based on how the cards look so this look of the card is something I was not expecting, and a lot of people in my stream, we were checking this out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash ruxin34, go check me out if you guys want to follow me there. We do a lot of reviewing of the new sets, we do some Master Duel, all kinds of cool stuff like that. But a lot of people in the chat were like, I don't like this, this turns me off, I'm not interested in these anymore. And I see a lot of you guys probably feel like that right now, you're like, ew, this isn't old school, this isn't the nostalgia I'm looking for, it's the old cards, but it doesn't feel like the old cards. But for me personally, I'm actually really happy about this. I think that another wave of the same old, same old looking cards was like, sure, it's exciting, it's cool, but it's just diluting those cards because we already have so many prints of those cards. We essentially have a different print run here where we can actually tell the difference like I was talking about earlier. So as we know, there's so many different prints of these old cards, especially LOB. We don't even need to get into glossy, wavy, first ed, unlimited, all that different stuff. But this will actually be something that's like, oh, this this card is from the 25th anniversary rewave. And I like to be able to differentiate stuff very easily because I get a lot of questions about that. And it'll make it very easy and simple for people to understand. And there's also something else that they did with these new looking cards. They also have erratas and problem solving text on them, which if you're not like a player, you're like, what does that even mean? Erratas are basically the new version. So a lot of people will hate this because the Chaos Ember Dragon is now going to have the errata on it. It's not going to have the old really powerful effect. It'll have the new neutered effect that makes it not quite as good. But for a lot of cards that are being played and are actually good enough to still be played, the errata is really important to when you're actually dueling with them. And when you have the old text on there, it's very confusing. People are looking at them like, what does that mean? You're like, no, that's the old version. Like, <laughs> we got to look it up now and show you the errata version. This is going to be great for those people. Problem solving text is similar. So like you have a really weird old text. They used to write things in really weird ways. The problem solving text says, hey, uh, this, this summon skull is treated as an Archfiend card or whatever it is. I think it is. I think that's something that it says. But uh, all that stuff's on there. So if you're a new school, person playing with these cards you actually have all that text that you need to play the game it makes it a lot more simple so you can grab them from the 25th anniversary you don't have to grab those old versions anymore they're just confusing and messing up your duels so honestly i think a lot of this is a really really good thing i mean a lot of you
you guys I think are gonna be like, oh, gross, 25th anniversary looks like new cards. I want old cards, that's the whole point of the reprint. Yeah, I do see what you're saying, but I also think there is a good side of this as well. You can always go buy the 2017 reprints, which are not too expensive. Second thing I wanted to talk about was the Starlight Rares, aka the 25th Anniversary Rares. Yeah, I know they're not the same, but to me, they feel very similar, but there is some differences. We were looking at DZ's opening as well, and the back of these cards appeared in the light for a quick second, and it seems like they're pretty scratched up on the back. My theory is that because these are placed in the back of the foil uh, plastic pack, I'm gonna grab one and show you guys an example. I don't actually have these 25th anniversary, but I have another foil pack. So in these packs, they're basically placed, this would be the Starlight Rare card if we're talking about the 25th anniversary. So there's placed right next to this wrapper right here. So as the cards go up and down like this, the cards slowly get scratched up a little bit. It could also be a print thing. This is just my theory because of the placement of the card. Um, I really don't know if that's it or if it's just a print quality thing, but as you can see right here, it's pretty scratched up, and as it goes into the light here, you can see some scratches over there. So the quality control is not looking great, but really what's new with Konami new products, that's pretty much every new set. Unfortunately though, with the 25th anniversary being like the main new draw, this is the new thing, you know, uh, we kind of want them to be nice. And speaking of how they look, this is Tombox uh, MST.TV's opening. They have the Slap of the Sky Dragon, which by the way, we're gonna mention there is a error right here where it has a German attribute text, which is pretty interesting. But just check these out. They are looking pretty clean. They look very similar to Starlights. Here's the difference. Gold lettering, and as he's about to show right here, 25th anniversary stamp. So those are the two differences. It's a Starlight Rare, but it has gold text and has 25th anniversary. We kinda already knew that. You know, you guys know I don't really love that. I think these cards look really, really awesome, and I'm excited to have more awesome-looking cardboard in Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't love what they're doing to Starlights, but we've already had spent an entire video about this. You guys have already formed your opinion about this. But as you guys can see, very cool. I mean, the cards look great. I mean, there's, there's definitely no problem with how they look in general if you're just going based off looks. But let's go back. So as you can see, there are errors here. So this is an English card with a German name and this isn't on every card. We checked on their other card, like their, I think they pull an obelisk or a raw. Let me see if I can find it. So here you can see the obelisk does not have that same thing and they are both light monsters. So the obelisk I think is the best looking one. I've seen, I think five out of six of them. The obelisk looks insane. I mean, it looks really, really good. Uh, I'm excited to get a hold of a set of these. I think the God cards are gonna do really well in terms of value, and they're probably gonna be heavily graded at PSA. There's gonna be tons and tons of them out there. Don't pay too much because even with the condition issues, I think there's gonna be so many of them out there. They're gonna grade pretty well and pretty quickly. And finally, one more thing to note. Uh, so Lithium pulled a Secret Rare Genzo, and I don't know if this looks familiar to you guys, does this not look just like the Speed Duel Secret Rare? This, by the way, he is European, so this could be a European thing, but these look very, very similar to Speed Duel, which if you guys remember, in my Speed Duel videos, I love the Secret Rares from Speed Duel. I think they look really great. This looks nothing like an old Genzo, but as I mentioned before, that's okay. Not everything has to look exactly the same in these reprints. I think this is gonna be a really nice looking Secret Rare. It's the Speed Duel card, but they took the garbage part out of Speed Duel cards, which is the Speed Duel text in the box. So that's gone. It's now just a really nice looking Genzo. Doesn't look like the old school one, but I really wanna know what you guys think. How are you feeling about how the cards look? Because that was a massive change that I was not expecting to happen, and it is definitely gonna to rub people the wrong way. I'm, I don't think it does for me. I'm actually pretty excited that it looks different, but I want to know how you guys feel in the comments because I know a lot of you guys are collectors like me, and I know a lot of you guys have different opinions than people that are playing the TCG because there is a big difference between TCG people and collector people, and I'm sort of in the middle somewhere, but really, I'm always leaning toward the collectors. You guys know that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'll probably be doing more updates on big news like this, especially that Tyler the Great Warrior, which is being auctioned off in just like a week or two now. We're gonna be going live on this channel, YouTube, not Twitch, to see what the price ends up being. So make sure you guys go for that. It's gonna be pretty amazing. I'm gonna be opening up Legendary Collection very, very soon, and I'll see you guys in that one.